Hi, it's KCCK's Culture Crawl. I'm Dennis Green, and my guest today is Lisa Barnes from Summer of the Arts, presenting festivals in Iowa City, and festivals are being presented in Iowa City. I think that's kind of our main message here, right? Very true, yes. We are very much looking forward to being back in person in Iowa City with a variety of programming this summer, including some virtual to start out the summer, but then going live and in person in downtown Iowa City, starting with the Jazz Festival on July 2nd and 3rd. Well, we definitely want to tease the Jazz Fest a little bit, but I know that the other big harbinger of summer and a return to normalcy is the Friday night concert series, which are right around the corner. Yes, that's very true. We actually decided because of the lingering pandemic and the uh, rollout of the vaccines that we would push back the start of the live Friday night concerts. And so instead we're doing some flashback concerts here in May in a couple of weeks. And then all of the June concerts will be virtual. So those are being pre-recorded and they will premiere on our Facebook page each Friday night starting in June on June 4th um, at 6.30 our usual time for the Friday night concert series. And then starting in July, then in person. Correct. So yes, we'll kick things off July 2nd and 3rd with the Jazz Festival. And then we go back to the Ped Mall for our regular Friday night concert series on June 9th is our first one. And we'll be bringing James Tutson and the Rollback. They were scheduled actually for the Arts Fest last year and ended up kicking off our virtual Arts Fest with a solo performance performance from James Tutson. So we're really excited to have him back this year with the Friday Night Concert Series and with his band. And you mentioned a couple of flashback concerts in May. Who do we have to look forward to there? So on May 21st, we're featuring a flashback showing of Shade of Blue when they were at the Friday Night Concert Series in 2016. And on May 28th, we are featuring a flashback concert series featuring Youth Orchestra which was a regular at the Friday Night Concert Series in the early 2000s. And this performance that we're sharing, I think it may be a combination of 2010 and 11. And then they actually came back a few years later and performed at the Iowa Arts Festival since they moved out to Colorado. They haven't been around for a while, but they were always one of our local favorites. So we're excited to share that flashback performance. Even though they all live in Colorado now, we still claim them as our own. Yes, kind of like Lake Street Dive, you know, I mean, there, there are certain performers that you still have to claim. And you've got a couple of other activities going on, too. Uh, the, I know the movie series is going to be ramping up. And what's the, what's the music series that travels? Music on the Move is the name of the series. And it actually was started last year. It was an idea that Kevin Burt had. And we took him around the Iowa City area and he performed from the back of a pickup truck. It was called a truckload of soul. And this year we received a grant from the Community Foundation of Johnson County, as well as support again from Green State Credit Union. And we decided to expand the series. We're actually going to be in 12 different neighborhoods, two times each month, two different neighborhoods each time. And we'll be alternating those performances between Kevin Burt and Dave Zolo. So again, they'll be in the back of a truck. We're going to a lot of elementary schools around the area, as well as some parks, different locations, different neighborhoods. And um, each performance will last about 45 to 60 minutes. Then they'll move on to the next location and do another performance. So this, I think, is going to be a lot of fun. And we're kicking that off on June 9th. And Kevin Burt will be kicking things off at 6 p.m. in the parking lot of the Coralville Outdoor Swimming Pool. So that'll be our first one. And we'll be releasing the full lineup of locations here probably within the next two weeks. And what's going on with the movie series? The movie series is going to be really interesting this year because we're doing a combination of things. We had great success last year with the drive-in movies. And so we are bringing back four drive-in movies at the Iowa City Municipal Airport, kicking things off on May 29th with the movie from last year, it's our only new movie, The Crude's a New Age, is going to be our first drive-in. You do have to pre-register for that, and we'll have that link available on our Facebook and website starting this Thursday. After that, we're actually going to be partnering on six of our movies this year 
with Film Scene in the Park. And you've probably seen some promotion about this. They partnered with the city, have a huge almost 50 foot screen on the side of the Chauncey ramp. And they're in the Chauncey Swan uh, Park, which is right next to the Chauncey. And it's gonna be a lot of fun working with them this year on six of the movies. And then we actually have two movies that we're taking out into the name. So again, we're really trying to get out into the community this year. We're going to have one movie showing at Mercer Park and another movie showing at Riverfront and Crossings Park. So there will be 12 opportunities to enjoy free movies this year through Summer of the Arts. As we mentioned earlier, the first big in-person festival will be the Iowa City Jazz Festival. Mm -hmm. uh, just uh, two days or a day and a half-ish, I guess, this year. And you sent out a news release a couple of weeks ago with the lineup. <laughs> and an hour later, the lineup changed. Yes. <laughs> Yes, unfortunately, our headliner for Saturday night had to cancel for personal reasons, and we are in the process right now of confirming a new headliner that I think everybody's going to be really excited about, and hopefully within the next week, we'll be able to announce who that person is, but even though everything is- I know who it is, and I'm so I know. excited! I am too. Um, even though we had to scale some things back this year with our weekend long festivals, you know, due to COVID and, you know, budget cuts and challenges that we've had as far as funding as a result of the pandemic, I think this is going to be an amazing festival. And I'm very thankful to you, Dennis, and bringing Schoolhouse Jazz to the Jazz Fest this year. This is something I've wanted for a long time, and that's going to kick everything off on the Ped Mall on Friday evening. That's where we'll be set up. And that's going to be at 4.30. And then we've got a couple of little more local bands, the NOLA Jazz Band from Des Moines. And then Steve Grossmore's Big Fun will be rounding out the night on Friday. And then Saturday, we will be back out on the street. So we'll be on Clinton and Iowa, not on the Pentecost, but adjacent to it. And we've got a full day of performances. We'll be alternating back and forth between the main stage and the local stage. So there's going to be music constantly. We're still going to have great food vendors, artists, activities. So it's still going to be really fun. And you know who that headliner is. And I think that this is such a coup for us. And, and we'll be starting you. off the day on Saturday with the high school bands, the North Quarter yep. All-Stars and the United Jazz Ensemble, like we always do. We have not one, but two winners of the letter one Rising Stars Jazz Award, Gifton Gellin and Emmanuel Wilkins. Mm -hmm. um, and Jennifer Wharton and Bonegasm will still be yep. with us. And then the headliner to be named later that yes. is going to be so exciting. So Yeah, yeah. And thank you to Premier Guitar and KCCK for helping to sponsor our new headliner. And then that will all end the evening with the Iowa City Fireworks on July 3rd, starting at 930 after our headliner gets done. So it's going to be a really fun weekend. Well, ramping up gradually, which I think is really smart in uh, May and part of June with uh, virtual activities, but it's going to be so exciting when we can all gather in downtown Iowa City for concerts on Friday night and the music festivals that Soda's become known for. It's going to be so great to be back. Yeah, we're definitely looking forward to it. I, I did an interview recently and somebody said, what are you looking forward to most this year? And I said, being out on the streets, you know, just getting out there and actually having these opportunities to interact with people and enjoy live music and arts. And I'm just really looking forward to it. It's so weird that it's been two years, you know, since we've been out there. So we've come at you with a ton of dates and artists and events. So if people want to get a full look at everything that's going on and remind them, you know, which ones are in person, which ones uh, they can watch on their screens. They can visit your website, which is summeroftheArts.org. And I also encourage people to sign up for our weekly newsletter and or follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Facebook is probably the best location to get the most up-to-date information that as well as our newsletter. Lisa Barnes from Summer of the Arts. Thanks for being with us today. Thanks so much. You can hear the Culture Crawl live on the radio most Thursdays and Fridays at 1020 or download the podcast. Watch or listen on your own schedule at kcck.org slash culture or wherever you get your podcasts. I'm Dennis Green, and I'll talk to you later.